YouTube Mail Coyote here. Uh, in this video, I want to see something I was kind of curious about myself. Now, I got my moved uh, wall mount here with the new coolant in it. Um, and I wanted to see how much difference in performance um, two old quad core CPUs, 16 threads total. Um, would be versus my Ryzen 1700X that I have. Now these are, if I remember correctly, uh, 5687 um, Xenon CPUs, uh, server class stuff, you know. Um, they're old. I think they're 2011, something like that. Uh, 3.6 gigahertz each so base speeds are a little bit quicker I believe the 1700x is 3.4 if I remember right maybe it's 3.6 but uh, anyway it'd be kind of interesting to see how much of a difference there is between a between these two well Intel and AMD first of all and um, two quad core eight thread so a total of eight cores 16 thread versus an 8 core 16 thread new gen CPU. Uh, see what they kind of can do. I'm just going to do one basic Cinebench test and kind of see what the performance difference is, difference is here and I'll talk about some more stuff after that. Let's go ahead and run that. And right now the test is running. Um, there is some stats up here already. There's a 12 core, 24 thread, 2.66 gigahertz x5650 CPU. So I think that'd be pretty much the same generation as, as these guys. And that one did 1279 points. So the, the X5687, now, oh yeah, so it does show 8 cores, 16 threads. I scored a whopping 1,104 points. And as far as I know, these aren't overclockable on this board. I'm not sure how to do it if they are, but I have a feeling that the 1700X is going to stomp it. Um, I'm going to go over to that computer and test it out there. We're here at my uh, 1700X CPU uh, computer and we're going to start this test and see what it does. Run! I think already you can tell it's significantly faster. Wow. Yeah, it looks like it's way faster. So, this is kind of interesting because the CPUs are basically the same speed, but this completed it way faster. <laughs> and look at that score. That's like f almost 600 points more. That's ridiculous. Wow. Well, it looks like I ran it before and I got 20, 22 points more. So, yeah, so I guess there you have it. Uh, that Walmart computer, apparently, uh, by today's standards, is kind of obsolete. Um, one other way that I've noticed it's obsolete is that motherboard uh, it seems to be limited to like network speeds of 100 megabits per second. I don't think it's a gigabit motherboard. I don't think it can handle anything higher than 100. It seems to always just cap out at that speed. So um, I think in the near future, I might just maybe ditch those parts or use them for novelty stuff or maybe just a network access storage kind of point or something like that. I'm not sure. Um, I mean, it serves all my needs right now. I run a Conan Exile server on it and whatnot, so that's kind of fun. But other than that, it honestly is obviously, obviously outdated and outclassed by the newer 1700X CPU. Um, it's unreal the difference in speed there, I guess. 
even though they're basically two of the same you know speed CPUs but I guess two CPUs aren't necessarily better than one so yeah I guess that's just kind of the point of this video is that older isn't always better in technology unfortunately um, some cases yeah there might be some arguments for that but in this case the 1700x definitely way better um, especially at the price point too because I think I paid like maybe 150 200 bucks for those pair of processors or something like that and the board and the RAM it's still kind of that stuff's kind of not as commonly easily to find as stuff nowadays so you know it gets more expensive as it gets older too so yeah thanks for watching this video and hope you enjoyed a battle between two old CPUs and one significantly newer CPU uh, hit that subscribe button if you like what I'm doing on here. Otherwise, don't. But thanks for watching anyway. See ya.